Welcome to the next tutorial in power system analysis. We are going to discuss the JetBus uh, building algorithm. So let us see the steps which we are going to follow uh, to build the JetBus. We have different cases that we need to consider. So the case one is when a new line with impedance ZB is added between a reference bus that is the ground bus and to a new bus. So we have the reference bus here and the new bus here. There is a line with impedance ZB added to it. Since this is the first step uh, in building the ZBus algorithm, we have only one impedance that is ZB. So we can see that only one row and one column is there. Only one row and one column when we have got the ZBus. Now for the case two, if a new line is added to the existing bus so k being the existing bus and q is the new bus which is added to the old system having the impedance matrix as z old in that case we have already the z old as the impedance matrix then the kth column will be put here and the kth row will be put here and the last row and last column will be equal to the sum of the elements ZKK plus the new impedance that is adding the existing bus K. So here C indicates the column and R indicates the row, K indicates the existing bus. Case 3, if a new line here with impedance ZB is added between a reference and the existing bus. So here we have the reference bus and there is an existing bus. The impedance ZB is added to it. Then in that case, the new impedance will be equal to the old impedance matrix minus one by that is the inverse of sum of ZKK plus ZB and the product of the column and the row elements of the kth column and the kth row of the z old matrix. Case 4, if a new line zb is added between the two existing bus that is j and k. These are the two existing buses. In that case, the new impedance matrix is equal to the old impedance matrix minus 1 by zll, where zll can be obtained as ZKK that is the existing bus ZJJ that is the other existing bus element plus ZB that is the impedance which is being new added minus two times the element ZJK. Here we will subtract the column Jth column with the Kth column. So J minus K column will be subtracted and similarly here the row elements will be subtracted for the jth column jth row minus kth row of the old z matrix we will try to understand this jbus building algorithm with two problems the first problem where the single line diagram is being shown where the connection of the elements uh, which are given impedances between the buses is shown so here the total number of buses is basically equal to 3 plus 1, 1 being the reference bus which is equal to 4. So there are 4 buses whereas there are 3 buses and 1 reference bus. So total number of buses may be 4. Since we will neglect the reference bus, so the side size of the jet bus will be equal to 3 cross 3. Let us see to build the ZBus algorithm step by step. So in the first step, we will add a new bus with the reference bus and the element is minus J 0.5. So there will be only one column and only one row here and that will be equal to minus J 0.5. Now one is already there. So a new bus has come that is the two and a new line is added between it. So J 0.25. Then in that case, the Z bus that we have got from the step one will be the Z old. So here the Z old will be coming directly from here. 
which is having only one column and only one row and then this element that is the new element will be added to the jkk element of the old bus so we will be adding this element which is equal to j 0.25 minus j 0.5 whereas this is only one column and only one row of the old jbus matrix now we'll carry forward this matrix whatever we have obtained that has become the z old and the step 3 we will be adding one new line to the reference bus so the second bus which is already existing bus is added to the reference bus then in that case the new impedance now can be obtained as the old impedance matrix minus 1 by zbb plus zkk multiplied with the column and the row element of the existing bus k so here the value of k will be equal to 2 so we have to see the second column so we have the second column here the elements and the second row elements is this one so that can be put here for the column and the row and here the new element z0.2 is added to the element of z22 so z22 is basically 0 0.25 uh, which is added with j0.2 then the z bus new element can be obtained the next step is now to add one bus new bus that is 3 to the existing bus 1 with branch element j0.3 then in that case we will follow the same process and since it is added to the bus number 1 so k will be equal to 1 here so we will take the first column and the first row to substitute here in the first column and the first row and the last element will be equal to zkk plus zbb so here we have 0 0.3 and z 4.5 which will give to z 4.8 now as the final step we are going to add z 0.2 between two existing bus 3 and 2 and we are going to do the same formula that we have applied so this is our old matrix which we have got till step 4 and we will subtract the third column minus the second column and multiplied with the multiplied with the subtraction of the third row and the second row element and we have to obtain 1 by zll well zll we can obtain as the element that is zkk so here k will be equal to 3 and j will be equal to 2 so when we say zkk it is basically z33 element so third row and the third column we will be having zkk similarly if you want to obtain zjj that is the second row and the second column element zb is the new impedance which is being added and zjk that is the element with the third row and the second column so we have the third row and the second column element which we have to put it here so we'll get the z bus of the three bus system next problem we have been given the figure where the elements are given in per unit quantities and we have to obtain the z bus so here we have total three buses and one reference bus and the elements are being shown we have to develop the z bus building algorithm with the first step being the adding of a new bus 1 to the reference bus so only one element will be there with one row and one column and now we are adding the second bus that is a new bus to the existing bus with the element 0 0.1 so here one element will be added that is 0 0.25 plus 0 0.1 which is 0 0.35 and we have only one column and only one row which will be putting it here okay then in the third step now one branch 0 0.1 is added between an existing bus 1 and there is a new bus 3 
Now for that we have to take the value of k is equal to 1. So for the old bus we have to choose the first column and we have to choose the first row and put it here as the first column and the first row. Now here the element will be equal to 0 0.1 plus z11 which is equal to 0 0.25 that will give us 0 0.35. Now that in the next step we will be adding 0 0.25 element with the existing bus 2 and the ground bus or the reference bus. So now since it is the second bus so we have to take the second column and the second row and put it in the formula. So we have the second column here and we have the second row here and the new element 0 0.25 will be the zb which is added with zkk which is equal to z22. So here z22 is 0 0.35 which we are really putting it here and we will get the now new z matrix. Now for the final step we have the element 0 0.1 which is added between two existing bus 3 and 2. So we can take the k is equal to 3 and j is equal to 2 and we can subtract the column involving 3 and 2 and the row involving 3 and 2 and we have to follow the intermediate steps calculation to get the final answer. So these two problems uh, we have been done to understand the JetBus building algorithm and now we are going to see how to use the MATLAB code to find the ZBus. So let us explain the MATLAB code that takes and form the JetBus matrix. First the two lines we have written to clear the screen and then we display the formation of JetBus matrix. We take the input as the total number of buses including the reference bus. So this is user defined. Now we define the Z bus size that is with zeros n comma m that is the size is a square matrix depending upon the number of buses present in the system which include the reference bus also. Now we define the t is equal to 1 which is a demo variable and then we take while t is equal to 1 we have the Z bus and we take the menu where we specify the case number. The case number may be the addi addition of new bus to the reference bus or existing bus to a new bus between any two existing buses, existing bus to reference bus and then we will print the result and quit the program. So depending upon the cases the jet bus will be formed. As we know that there will be four different cases so we can switch the cases case one which is addition of new bus to reference bus we can enter the impedance value as the user defined input that will form the jet bus as the element that has been entered to the system case two is basically the existing bus to a new bus which will require the input to be the starting bus number and the new bus number. Then we can enter the impedance value of the new line. We know the algorithm when a new existing new bus is added to the existing bus. How do we obtain the jet bus that we have seen in the tutorial problem. Next case is between the existing buses. So what is the first bus number and the second bus number which are existing? and the impedance value of the coming line. So these will be taken as the input and the algorithm will work as the formulae that we have taken how to obtain the jet bus when we two existing buses are there. Case 4, we have the existing bus to the reference bus. So we have to enter the old bus number and the impedance value and then the jet bus will be calculated. So these steps when it is over we can print the result and then we can quit the program. So these algorithm written in the form of a MATLAB code can be used to obtain 
the Z bus of the system. We will now see the tutorial one problem how to solve use in this MATLAB code. So we have opened the MATLAB platform and we are going to execute the JetBus building algorithm code that we have written and see the problem number one in the tutorial how to solve it using JetBus matrix. So in order to run this program we will run it first and enter the user defined input. So let us run this program. Once we have run the program, it has been asked the formation of jet bus matrix, enter the total number of buses including the reference bus. In problem number one in the tutorial, we have three buses plus one reference bus. The total number of buses is four. So once I enter the value of four, the jet bus default has been created which is a zero matrix and a pop-up menu has now come which is asking me the cases of addition of the different lines to the bus. So the first step is to add a new bus to the reference bus. So we have seen that in step one in the tutorial we have added a value that is inter impedance value that is minus j times 0 0.5 as the new value to be entered. So now my jet bus has been created for the first step. In the second step we have a new bus which is added to the existing bus. So the existing bus is 1 and the new bus is 2 which is adding to the existing bus. So enter the starting bus number it is asking me that is 1 and then the new bus number is 2 I have entered through the keyboard. Now the impedance value is J 0.25 which I have entered. So the Z bus has been formed for the second step. So till second step we have got the answer. Now in the third step we have the a bus is added that is the existing bus is added to the reference bus. So we will click it and then enter the bus number. So the bus number is basically 2 that has been created now and the impedance value is J 0.2 which I have entered. So I will be getting that Z bus till step 3. Now step 4 we have the addition of a new bus to an existing bus. So the new bus in this case will be 3 and the existing bus will be 1. So I will click it and the starting bus number will be 1 and the new bus number will be 3 that I will enter and the impedance value will be J 0.3 that I will enter. So I will get the Z bus till step 3. Now step 4 which is my final step is addition of an impedance between 1 and 3. So both 1 and 3 are the existing buses. So we have to click between existing buses and the bus number are 1 and 3 that we are adding and impedance value is J 0.3 and then I will get the final answer for my uh, jet bus building algorithm. I can print the result and then I can uh, I have already got the final answer that is a 3 cross 3 jet bus uh, for the tutorial 1 problem and the answer is same whatever we have got using uh, solving the code. Now I can quit the program. So this will end the program and I will be getting the jet bus of a 3 cross 3 matrix. So this way we can get the answer using the MATLAB of jet bus building algorithm.